My Garage Rules is proudly sponsored by You Pull It, Sprint Auto Parts, Newlom, Auto Transformers, Dickies, Blue Wire Motorsport, Gap Finance. Oh, geez. Well, there's a reason they called me Hiroshima at school. <laughs> Don't go in there for about two weeks. Oh, hi, everyone. Welcome to My Garage Rules. Wow. I get this strange sensation coming over me. Jim, we're here tonight with Ray. How are you, Ray? Good, thanks, buddy. Good. Boy, I'll tell you what, this is a garage to beat all garages. I mean, I've just walked in past a 57 Chev. I've seen a ute over here with big, giant, massive wheels. We've got an angular behind me here, and not only that, you've put on a barbecue. How, how does this happen? Why? Well, tell us the story. Well, I mean, the women go to the head. Oh, it's all about the women, is yeah, it? Yeah, well, the women go and get their <laughs> nails done, go out for coffee, and us guys, we work pretty hard during the week. And just out of the blue, Half of these guys I went to school with for many, many years. And I said to him, you know, we should do something. So on a Wednesday night, every Wednesday, we get together and have a bit of fun. And, you know, we're looking at, at everybody and, you know, I'm a welder. We've got one who's a bit of an engine builder, one is a wirer and so forth and so forth. And, and Vinny's a panel beater. And we thought, well, why don't we do something? Creative. Why not? So we started building the uh, the drag car ute. So every Wednesday night, this is what happens. We get together. Um, Got to ask you, yep. the car that you're building over here, sure. the ute. Now this is a bit of a, uh, a, a a conglomerate of people getting together, as you said, to build right. build the car. Is yeah. this? Right? Yeah. Look, like I said, we get together and 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 there was a lot of talent in the room, and and you know we just got together and, and ended up doing. A ute, you know, we, we, we discussed what we wanted to build and how we wanted to build it and um, there's a guy up the road who's a, who's a chassis builder and um, he just, um, we, we, we rang him and said, you know, what about uh, uh, building a chassis uh, for a ute? Yeah. And he said he'll come down, his name's Doug Ellsworthy, yep. probably one of the gurus of the uh, big time guru, yep. drag racing <laughs> industry. So he sort of comes down once in a blue moon and, and oversees what we're doing and tells us we're a bunch of idiots and yep. um, sometimes between Vinny and Rick and myself we sort of do the old, you know, one, two, three, yep. because we want to ask Doug a question <laughs> and we're not sure how it's going to go down. And What sort of motor have we got in that at the moment? Uh, we've got a big block Chev. Of course. Um, yeah, uh, all uh, done up. It's got Charles and Albert rods, aluminium rods. Um, we're running methanol, um, all the right bits and pieces. A good friend of ours, Chris from CNM Engines, he um, helped us with the engine did all the machining and so forth. We're looking hopefully around 820, 850 horse. And, and the dog gets involved as well. Yeah, that's, fa <laughs> that's fast, Eddie. <laughs> I think the drag car is great, but look, you know, we mentioned we've got the 57 Chev here, so this sure. is one of the boys that brought the uh, car down tonight. Yeah, well, that's, that's Vinny's too. Um, yeah. He bought this one a while ago, and it's all been tubbed, and he's done a lot of the uh, body work and so forth, which he's done to the drag car. Up and down. We 
got everything. We've got bikes, we've got uh, yeah. now, GTs, yeah. we've got some uh, Fords over here, mate, yeah. uh, for the, our Ford fans out there. Yeah. So you're yeah. a bit of a mix, aren't you? Because you've got Fords, you've got G yeah. uh, the GTs, you've got the GDS, where the boys are looking at at the moment. Yeah. So Arrow, yeah, you sure. don't mind anything. You like anything with wheels and gas? No, we're, we're a bit like uh, old Tim the Tool Man. If it's got an engine, we're... <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, I like the soup up the old girl's yeah. uh, washing machine. But no, we're, look, we, we, just, we just love engines and petrol stuff. And well, the whole setup is fantastic in here. And yeah, I, I even like the angular behind me here. Now, this yeah. is a bit of a project. Yeah, well, that's uh, Vinny's car, and he's had that since he was 16. It sat out in the paddock, and fortunately enough, years ago, we actually coated the car with a bit of uh, rust inhibitor, and then, of course, he's in his uh, late 40s, early 50s, and he decided now to uh, to build his, his car, and he took it out of the paddock, and, of course, it was wow. still all good metal, and yeah. as you can see what he's done with it. I, I really appreciate you letting us come out and uh, sure. we had a bit of a, <clears throat> a feed ourselves while we were here. So, uh, look, really appreciate you letting us come out. And Hey, what do you reckon, guys? What do you reckon of Ray's Garage? Hey, there you go. See, they like it too, don't they? Yeah. Is, is Ray OK? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, thanks, Ray. Thanks for letting us come out here and, uh, look, uh, we have enjoyed your garage. Hi everyone, hey uh, look, we thought we'd come over and, uh, to the house of Tony DeRose and we'll see if he's uh, let us have a look at his garage. Come on, <laughs> he doesn't even know we're here. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't mind. And the old doorbell. How do I look, oh, Mr. Cameraman? Just give me a thumbs up, hopefully. Hey, Bruce. Yeah, how are you, how are you mate? Mate? Hey, yeah. look, we brought the My Garage Rules crew hey, down. Guys. I thought we'd have a look at your uh, garage. No oh, cool, let's go, guys. Come on through. <laughs> Wow! Oh, this is unreal. Jeez, wow, you've really done a good job in here, mate. It's kind of Mate, the whole decor, the flooring, the cars, this is just amazing. <laughs> it's incredible. Now, look, you've got to tell us about this thing here, though. Now, I'm just going to grab this microphone because uh, I want to tell you, th this is gorgeous. This is a 54 Chev? 54 Chevrolet. Yeah. Now, what do you think? Look, look, I can notice a few things that you've done to it straight off the bat. I mean, for starters, you've done a customising bit with the trim here as well. Let's have a bit of a look at that. Yeah, what we've done is we've actually taken the quarter panel mould and cut and shut it and re-welded it and polished it put it between the two doors that way it doesn't cut the car in half because this is the model this is the 210 isn't it that's right yeah so basically this whole trim that whole stainless trim would go right, right across with it yeah wow you've done a neat job and i love the color the color it really suits the car yeah it's one of our custom mixed colors that uh, we played with and added pearls and things to and uh, yeah we're happy with it Sort of like a take on the old blue and white, yeah, but yeah. we've brought it into the 2000s and uh, done something fresh with it. Well, you know what? I'm just talking to you right now, and I've just noticed something over here on the blue. What is this? Because this looks really, really interesting. That's so a trademark a... petrol cap. No way. Yeah. Well, we'll get the guys yeah. to have a look. Can you see that? Look, this is amazing. Yeah, we tend to put this on all the cars I do. Or use oh, we'll cap. have a look at that. So, hence, you get that nice clean line along clean the Clean lines. Nothing just disrupts your eye. Yeah. And just Everything flows. Wow, that's great. So how long has this car taken to build? Nine months. Oh, get out. Nine bare, months? Bare chassis to driving oh, in nine months. Unbelievable. Well, we've got to have a look at the interior. Yep. So we, now, I, I hear your boy's pretty good at doing interiors. Did he help you do He did the whole thing in about a week. Wow, OK, so what we'll do, we'll just open up this door here and... Uh, oh, wow, have a look at that. That is gorgeous. That's only a test interior. Uh, a test interior? What, test what interior. We're going to do it in leather, but we just ran out of time when yeah, we were building yeah. it. And it sort of stayed that way, but the intention is that eventually it will be in leather. Well, let's go and have a look at the driver's side. Sure. Love the steering wheel and the indicator and everything. That looks really good. I'm going to shut you in here, mate, if that's OK. Yeah. Just watch your leg there. No OK. Wow. OK, so you've done a full treatment on the uh, the console there. You've done, uh, you've changed the, the gauges. Yeah. Dash, the speaker grill yeah. is in there and yeah. ashtrays and switches. That's fantastic. Put a billet. It really suits you. You should really buy this car. Oh, hang on, you do. Yeah, I should buy it. I should buy it, actually. Yeah. And what's it like to drive, mate? Uh, it's awesome, actually. Yeah. It's good fun. Yeah. It's great. 
We've um, basically, we've just uh, knocked on your door and walked in and, uh, you know, you've been very social showing us your garage. But I've got to just show people that hopefully they're seeing the vision now. But uh, you've done the floor, you've done the floral and checkers, you've done uh, all this paraphernalia around here as well, all the memorabilia. is just is incredible. So, uh, yeah, how long did it take you to do this sort of? About three weeks. Really? Yeah. Well, look, I'll tell you what we've got to do. Since it's taken three weeks to do this, I've got to ask you about the next room. So let's go in there. Why don't you get me to there? Why don't you get me to nowhere? Well, I tell you what, I feel a lot more comfortable in here, Tony. This is <laughs> great as well. You've got the uh, the English wheel over there. Um, for those people that don't know what English wheels are, this is how you shape your, your fenders and your guards and all that. So you're pretty handy at that. Yeah, I learnt in trade school and I've always kept up with it and always wanted to do it. It's a bit of passion. Wow, that's, I mean, it is a hard thing to use, isn't it? It is, it is, yeah. yeah. Well, that's great. I'm glad. You've got big arms yet from there? What's no, going on? No, no. <laughs> I, I get pretty trim. I get pretty trim. Now you've got, look, this is what I like, everybody. I mean, if you went to my garage, um, which we've, we've done a few shots in there, mine's a mess. It's crazy. But you've got great space here to, to work on stuff. You've got a great working atmosphere in here. You've got, oh, hello, you've got a break over there as well. Yeah, we've got a break. Me. Drill press, oh, gee. Crying, drill press. The only thing is, it's like a hammock. I mean, do you get in trouble with the missus? You got to come out here and sleep? No. <laughs> uh, uh, we have a good relationship. All right. Well, look, people are probably seeing this thing on the on the right here, mate. So uh, it's not a hot rod, but this is is this somebody? It's, you've... A, it's a 38 Wolseley that I'm tidying up for. Uh, friend of mine and uh, somebody had a go at the building guards for it but they were all wrong so we're rectifying them. Oh, something a little bit different on my garage rules but we don't mind because it's still a car, it still, still runs it's petrol. Absolutely. Look, I love the Chev. I forgot to ask, what are we running in it? That's still running the 235 six cylinder. Nice. Yeah, we wanted to keep that inline six yeah. look. And I think we did it before it was trendy. Yeah. And it was purely a time thing because we had nine months to build the car yeah. in, so we didn't have time to engineer V8s and things into it. So. You know what, I love a V8 like everybody else, right? But hats off to you for leaving the 235 in there, the inline six, because that's a classic motor. They're a good, strong, talky motor. They're, they're they fun for cruising, you know, but... They'll cruise, they're, um, they don't, not big on revs. No, 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 it's like two, nine, three grand to yeah, over, yeah. but... Uh, but you can grab a lot of lot of things for these well, things. We've got one plan now, yeah. but hopefully around 300 horsepower and 6,000 oh, nice. RPM. Oh, hello. We're yeah. talking GMC, are we? No, no. We're talking oh, one of these. Oh, this. oh yeah. wow. Yeah. Oh, that'd be really good. We've been doing some research. and uh, Yeah, that'll be going in there. Well, we've got to show people as well. You're French, the headlights. Yeah, we did. Yep. That's not because you're French. You're no, Italian. No, we're Italian. going to just play that. But Italian. the Frenching of the headlights, of course, means that the uh, the, uh, the bezel that goes around the headlights has been smoothed into the actual guard. Right. So they yeah, call it Frenching. It's all welded in. You've done something special to the grill. Well, most people add overriders. Yes. We took them out. That's right. I just like that. I believe it's like uh, a sculptor. He takes stuff, wood away, takes yep. clay away to yep. actually find it. Yes. And that's what we do with cars. Wow. We take away from it. I wish somebody would take some it. fat away from me. Yeah. If you just sculpt me, that would be nice. Now, I'm sports talking about my weight, plump. Got to ask, why plump? Well, we went down to register the car and we actually wanted a fat ass because the back of the 54 <laughs> goes out. So yeah, yeah. Looks like it's got a fat ass, but yeah. I found that offensive. So we thought, well, maybe it's just plump. Oh, well, not on my garage rules. We think that's really cool. So yeah. that's why it's called so plump. Now it's plump. Does my bum look big in the Chevy? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. No, well, from the paint to the interior to the French headlights to the 235, I'm glad you got that uh, that motor in there, mate. It's, it's just beautiful. Well, look, you know what? I really appreciate you letting us have, uh, have the time. I know we sort of knocked on the doors. Hey, we're here. Right. And uh, yeah, look, it's great to see your, your garage. And uh, thank you very much, mate. Pleasure. And uh, thanks for showing us around. And uh, let's hope uh, you know we can come back and maybe see something else in here. You never know. There's a Model A Roadster in the works. <laughs> Now you got me excited. All right, folks, we'll see you later. Thanks very much, Tony. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Dia de los Muertos show, or commonly known as the Day of the Dead show. Now, the Day of the Dead show is in its fourth year running, and it's an annual event, and boy, have we got some cars here for you to see. Come on, come on, you gotta get, 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 oh! 
Tonight, we're going in this workshop. Now, the roller door's are down at the moment, and I don't know why. I am hope he's in there. We're going to go see Andrew, and Andrew's got this magnificent Lincoln. Now, it used to be blue, and now it's a different colour. So, I hope he's in there. Andrew, are you in there? You've just blown me away. We knocked on the garage door, we yelled out, and you've just brought this beautiful Lincoln out. My God, it used to be purple. What, what's happened? Purple, blue, yeah. 
Um, well, that was the colour for its initial build, you know, shake down and uh, work out all the bugs and iron out all the problems and get everything working right before you actually strip it down and do it for its final build. Now, for people that haven't seen this, it's um, they've either been living under a rock or on Mars somewhere, but uh, it's a 39 Lincoln, yes? 39 Lincoln Coupe, Zephyr. Beautiful. And what sort of motor are we running? Uh, LS1. Oh, got to run the LS1. That's beautiful, mate. And uh, coming out in that sunlight, the colour, my God, it's just, it just blows you away, doesn't it? Yep, colour's come out well. Uh, it's a DNA paint, so it's a uh, candy, um, Sahara yellow, uh, silver base with about six coats of the candy, and then the clear over the top. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with it. Yeah, well, you know, that, that sounds like a lot of work to me. <laughs> was a lot of work. So that's a lot of man hours in that Three paint. days solid. Of, of you know eight to ten hours each day of painting this car, you oh. know, from fully rubbed in primer to finally painted in clear, oh and, then, and then the rubbing and polishing. Uh, thank God, that was a lot of, was a lot of hours. <laughs> now look, we've uh, we just had this in a show, the yep. Extreme Auto Expo, and how'd you go with that? Yeah, it was great. It was a good chance to uh, promote the business and uh, put a few of our cars on display, uh, and of course this uh, it's turned a few heads. Uh, a few trophies and things, and um, so, yeah, we was pretty happy. Yeah, it was a hell of a mad rush to get it there too, it was I heard. a mad rush. We, we finished the car on the Friday. The trimmer was finishing the car at about uh, 12 o'clock, and we rolled it onto a trailer at 1 o'clock, uh, and got it down the show and set up about two hours later. That's unbelievable. And look, yeah. since we're talking about the trim as well, what can you tell us about that? Yeah, the trim's a bit of a custom build. Um, yeah, we've created a bit of a console going up through the middle, trying to keep a bit of an old school feel with a, a bit of new, a little bit of billet there, and a bit of an old feel with the seats and the, the style of trim with the two tone. Um, it seems to come together quite well. And uh, one of my favourite things would have to be the uh, the suspension as well, how you can you can drop it and so forth. Now it's all controlled through your iPhone. Airbag suspension. Uh, we do have some controls there. Yeah, we're. we're uh, uh, under full registration rules, it, uh, it complies, uh, it's an um, auto level system all the way through, and it, it works. It should work. <laughs> it, it, works. It, it, is, it, uh, it is a really beautiful car, and quite a few shows that I, I always say absolutely beautiful, and it is. It's absolutely beautiful. I mean, the pinstriping on it, the, the colour, the wheels, uh, we didn't even mention the wheels. What's the wheels? The wheels are little specialties, uh, white wheels on there as well. Is that a special made? Is that made for the car, or no, you no, actually no, buy those off the shelf? Yeah, little specialties yep. make that you can buy. Um, again, trying to find a, a bit of a mix with the, the old billet feel, with the, the new. Sorry, the newer feel, <laughs> feel with the old uh, feel to the car. But, um, but what we've got to remember here as well, this car bu is built to drive. Yeah. Uh, it's not a show car. Uh, I want to drive it all the time. Um, so we built it that, that way with the LS1 for that reason. And what sort of looks does it get? A lot. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> now they're not looking at you, they're just looking at no, the car. It's all about the car. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, I, you, you did a, a photo shoot just recently and I, I have seen some photos on the, the old Facebook and all that sort of stuff yeah. where yeah. Uh, you pulled up to a petrol station and, and everyone was swarming around the car. Yeah. So you must be happy with that. It's, it's getting the attention it needs. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it gets the attention everywhere. Oh, um, the good. kids and the wife love it. Uh, the kids hang out the windows. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it, it is good. It's no, nice look, to be recognised. From the interior, from the uh, the back to the front, it's just those lines are just beautiful on the whole thing. And it's amazing how the colour changes in the different lights. Like we're sitting inside here now, but outside before, it's just changing the whole colours. It needs, needs to be in the sun. It's unreal. It really makes it possible. Yeah, well, hopefully we're seeing the, some photos of that now. But uh, uh, the engine uh, bay itself as well, you've gone for the old school uh, chrome back there or mirror back, which is uh, an old trick, which looks great. It just really opens up that whole engine bay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as I said, when I was building it to be, a, a driver. Um, well, I wasn't that concerned about the engine bay, I was just going to build it neat and tidy. Uh, and it came out a lot better than I thought. Um, so, yeah, now I don't mind popping the bonnet and showing off a bit. I tell you, well, when you start it too, it, it just starts every time, first time. It's great, isn't it? Yeah. Um, now, you've got air conditioning in there as yeah, well. well. Yeah. Oh, wow. And you've got yeah. obviously a radio. Right, yeah, stereo. There's a stereo hidden. Um, I said radio. That's how old school I am. Uh, I mean, stereo. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no stereo, no radio on show, no speakers on show. Uh, basically, it's a, it's a little system that's connected with Bluetooth. So as I step in, it connects to my phone. Oh, wow. Uh, and on comes the music. Cool, uh, with a little control hidden away that we can turn it up, down, and whatever. I've got to ask, what's your favourite music? Uh, look, I'm a, I'm a bit of a... I've got, I've got quite a mix. Uh, look, Clash, 
uh, some hardcore, ha hardcore psychobilly and all that sort of stuff would be my favourite. Oh, lovely, isn't that lovely? Yes, yeah, all our favourite men. I think it's the cameraman's nodding as well, he's enjoying that too. Well, well look, uh, we really appreciate you taking the time and showing this beautiful car. And it's, I mean, I don't know what else, other word to use, but it is, it is magnificent, it's beautiful, it's stupendous. There's a new word for you, stupendous. But uh, look, hats off to you, and it's a great car. And uh, look, I, I hope it wins more trophies and all that. I know it's got a couple of, it's been in a magazine already yeah, too. Yeah, a couple of magazines. Yeah. It's, uh, street machine cruising's coming up um, but not so much about the shows more more than ever you'll just see it on the road driving that's what we want to see that's right. excellent that's what it's all about and thanks for joining us on my garage rules in your garage tonight uh, thank you Brent. my garage rules is proudly sponsored by you pull it sprint auto parts newlon Auto Transformers, Dickies, Blue Wire Motorsport, Gap Finance. My Garage.